hello guys welcome to the biology lesson in today's biology lesson i will teach about food tastes okay because of the concerns that you have raised guys in the group that you have no ideas about some of the practicals that are brought in biology so i've decided to teach you some of the practicals then probably in the next lesson i'll be able to teach you also other practicals that are brought uh in biology so today we'll be looking at food tests so like we'll start with one testing for reducing sugars so testing for reducing sugars is one of the food tests that um, you come across when doing biology practicals and is very common in biology practicals okay so what are reducing sugars by the way so we are saying reducing sugars are glucose fructose galactose maltose and lactose so these are classes of uh, food nutrients that fall under reducing sugars okay so sucrose is not a reducing sugar okay so the test for reducing sugars is known as the benedict's test that's what we call also reducing sugar we call it as the benedict's test so the main reagent is benedict's solution which contains copper 2 sulfate so the main reagent for testing reducing sugar is just benedict's solution and this benedict solution contains copper 2 sulfate and we are saying that reducing sugars can reduce copper 2 ions in benedict's solutions to copper 1 ion in the form of copper 1 oxide a brick red precipitate so what is being explained here is that um, if you add reducing sugar to copper 2 sulfate this copper 2 sulfate changes from copper 2 to copper 1 in the form of copper 1 oxide and this copper 1 oxide which is formed has a color of brick red okay and then it becomes a precipitate and because of that we are able to tell that there is reducing sugar because it's the only one that is able to do the reducing of copper 2 to copper 1 and hence the name reducing yeah, so we are saying this means that the color of the solution containing reducing sugar changes to brick red precipitate when Benedict solution is added to it. Okay, so now let's look at the typical practical on reducing sugar. So how can a typical practical come on reducing sugar? So here... We are saying you are provided with the solution X, C, Benedict solution, test tube, and the dropper carry out a reducing sugar test on solution X. So yeah, they are saying you have been provided these things like solution X, Benedict solution, test tube, dropper. Then they say carry out a reducing test, a reducing sugar test on solution X. So these are the things that provided you which they may provide you with on the table so you may have solution x here which is not known then you may have also benedict's solution then like a, a test tube labeled x then it can be labeled anything it is labeled x because it is going to hold the solution x then you have a dropper here then like they can be uh, there can be a procedure like this so um, procedure like is saying add two meals of solution x into the test tube so you can add two meals of solution x to the test tube so in this case see, you can even use a dropper like approximately you get some of the solution here you add here okay so you just put something here like this solution in here then after you do that, add two meals of Benedict's solutions to the test tube using the dropper. So you may add as well Benedict's solution here. So you may use a different dropper, though here we are using the same dropper. So you get that Benedict solution, you add here two meals again. Then here they say mix the solutions thoroughly by shaking the test tube. So once you add these two here, you shake thoroughly so that they mix okay 
then after you do that the next thing is you'll be provided with what we call water bath there'll be water in the beaker that will be boiling then the next thing you do here is heat the test tube in a boiling water bath for five minutes so you get this test tube you put here so that it boils for five minutes to heat okay so we are saying observe the color change of the solution a brick red precipitate indicates the presence of reducing sugar so so this one once it is put there it changes like brick red so this brick red which it shows here it just shows that there is reducing sugar now if it uh, remains blue like this one after adding this one you hit it here if it it remains blue then reducing sugar is absent that's how you record yeah so basically this is what is involved here these are the steps they may of course appear different but um basically that is the main main many uh theory behind practicals or procedure behind practicals then next let's look at uh two test for starch so also testing for starch is one of the practicals that come in biology very common indeed so here again we are saying the test the test for starch is called the iodine test okay why because iodine is a reagent used to test for starch so here iodine is added to the sample and the color change if any is observed so if you add iodine to any sample solution that is the being tested for starch then the color change if any is observed you observe any color change then um, this is a typical practical on starch okay typical practical on starch so we are saying here you are provided with solution x iodine solution test tube and a dropper carry out a starch test on solution x yeah so again you can have like solution x then you have iodine solution then also this test tube labeled x then they ask you to carry out uh, uh, a test for starch on solution x and then you need to do as the same procedure that we did so here is a drop as well so here the procedure will be the same like they'll say put solution x into a test tube like you get this solution x you put into a test tube so you get some of it you put in the test tube then after you do that then what happen next we're saying add a few drops of iodine solution to the test tube using a dropper so you get also a few drops of iodine solution you add to the same test tube then what you do observe the color of the solution after you add iodine solution then you observe the color if the solution turns blue blue black it indicates the presence of starch in solution x here so if the color will change blue black then here you are going to conclude that there is a starch because the starch is the one that will cause the solution to change to blue black upon addition of iodine solution then we are saying if the solution remains yellow brown it indicates the absence of starch in solution x yeah so upon putting iodine because iodine is brown in color not these colors we are seeing these colors i'm using here are just arbitrary these are not real colors that you find in the laboratory so if you add iodine and you find that the color remains brown then that indicates that starch is absent okay yeah so basically this is what is expected so as you can see here the color is black so if the color is black like this meaning starch is uh, present all right so guys this is what i wanted you to have on testing for starch so in the next lesson i will just talk about non reducing sugar proteins and fats then we we'll do have finished on food test then we'll see other practicals that are done like uh, um, magnification and the like okay so bye see you in the next lesson